Live from our studio in Springfield, you're watching News Channel 20 at 5. Tonight at 5, one of the state's most powerful politicians under fire again today. We tell you his response after lawmakers ask for his resignation. Plus, preventing health care burnout. How hospitals and the staff are working to cope with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. And a failed system. Why one state legislator is calling out IDES over its callback system. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stacy Skryzak. And I'm Marcella Bayetto. The new winter warming center is on lockdown tonight after a man tested positive for COVID-19. News Channel 20's Jordan Elder joins us live now. And Jordan, uh, when did he test positive? Stacy and Marcella were told the man tested positive in the last 24 hours. The warming center has only been open for a few days, and tonight they're dealing with their first case of COVID-19. Salvation Army Captain Jeff Eddy says one man is in isolation tonight after testing positive for the virus. He was recently released from the Sangamon County Jail and came to the warming center for shelter. Eddy says the man had minimal contact with staff and residents, but they're going on a soft lockdown to be safe. This means no one comes in or out until Monday when SIU Medicine comes to test everyone. Live in Springfield, I'm Jordan Elder, News Channel 20. Thank you, Jordan. Today's the deadline for Tent City to close down. Now, the city of Springfield said everyone has to be gone from the lot today. But will the lockdown at the warming center affect that? We'll tell you tonight on News Channel 20 at 6.